Hi guys, welcome to the Light Up Skill. So in the last video, we saw uh, what is the introduction of the graph database. In the graph database, we saw uh, the nodes, relationships, properties, and the labels attached to the nodes and the types attached to the relationships. So how to denote uh, what is the node and what is the relationships we saw. So so it is the next part. It's a part two of introduction to the graph model or introduction to the new 4 j Today we are going to see uh, the the syntax of a, how how the node uh, how the node is defined how the node is expressed or the labels is expressed or the properties is expressed so when it comes to the nodes and the how to express the basic syntax of the relationships uh, how the relationships can be defined the direction or the type is nothing but and the name of the relationships and the properties associated with the relationships and uh, in the third part we are going to see that the basic nomenclature means cipher nomenclature of a basic query how how the query returns match and return query so let's start with the uh, how to express the uh, how to express the basic syntax of the node so in the in the neo 4 j right so whatever uh, in the parenthesis right it's denoted as a node so whenever we are, when you create a node right it should be uh, as a, we have to give any of the label so without label we can't query that node so it's become useless so whenever uh, so you can remember in the uh, the last video in the graph uh, in the graph model right we specify that the each label has a node uh, it should contain more than one node or anything uh, based on the requirement we can specify the labels according to our requirement so in the in the second thing right so uh, the the labels are uh, uh, written as an the uh, the colon and continued with the uh, the label name means whatever the the label in which we are giving right it's a person name and then the second thing uh, in the second part right we can also specify the label at the left hand side of the colon p and the person so what it happens is it returns uh, so whatever the person nodes are there we we'll specify to that node it will return the query and if you remember guys in the last video right uh, as i mentioned you right so even uh, the node has in more than more than one label so uh, for example if i take i am a person Okay, I'm an employee of the company. So, in that case, right? So, uh, I'm I'm eligible for the two labels, the person and I'm an employee also. So, these are the two labels which you can give and properties associated with that. When you extend this query, right? D is a variable and P is a label name and the properties. So, the always the properties which uh, are written in the curly basis itself. So, whatever uh, there in the curly basis, right? There are the properties of the nodes, and uh, you remember, guys. Uh, means whenever the properties properties are written in a key value pair only, so you can mention here it's a key value pair. Uh, in the second node, so you can mention uh, the n number of properties. So based on the requirement, right? So here it's uh, it has only one properties. So based on the requirement, we can add the properties as uh, as required. So let's move to the next slide, guys. So in the in this slide, right, we can see how to express the basic syntax of the relationships. So the relationship, as we said, right, the main uh, the main thing of the relationships is one is the direction and the one is type. So type we also call it as a name. So how to uh, how to write and how to write a relationship in a new four j So this is the arrow. Uh, this is the arrow of the relationships. So whatever the nodes which are related, right. So you can write this uh, like this also relationship. You can de uh, define. And also you can define or uh, you can define of this also relationships. So, so when to use this, right? When to use this relationship means, so whenever you don't know the relationship name means the relationship type. For example, if you can take here, right? So I know the relationship name here loves. So you can in that case, when you know the particular relationship type, right? So you can use, you can use this, uh, you can use this on the square braces. And when you don't know the relationship, right? So whatever the relationship types between the two nodes, in that case, you can use the above query. It's the same vice versa also. So these are all the types of uh, relationships. So always, uh, so uh, that's a main point to remember is the relationships always they are written in the uh, square braces itself. So you can mention here, uh, you can see here, uh, it's always denoted in the square braces itself. So when it comes to node, right? In the previous slide, you can see the nodes are denoted in the parenthesis and the properties are written in the square uh, it's and curly braces and the relationships are uh, it's and uh, we can do the syntax of the relationships which are written in the, it's a square bracket the whatever the data in the square brackets are uh, nothing but 10 relations 
So in the previous slide, right, uh, the types is nothing but an uh, the relationship name we can say. So we can call. Uh, so here we call uh, it as an type. We do not call it as a name of the relationship. Here the we can call it as a relationship type. So here in the in the in this the first example, right. So uh, this is only relation. In the second relation, in the second type, right, we can also add one or more relations while uh, means while querying the uh, the data. We can say while querying the node. So in the second relation, right. So we have uh, assigned a variable called as an R and uh, following with the colon. And here we are uh, what we are doing is we are using an OR operator. It's a pipeline symbol, right? OR operator, which indicates uh, whether whether person uh, it returns the data which has loves or lives with so it have been uh, it returns the data for like that so when it comes to properties right it's not a mandatory thing that every relationship should have an properties it's based on the requirement so if you want to mention you can mention so most probably will not uh, in, in most of the cases will ignore the properties but in the required so whenever it is required we can specify even the relationships as the properties the same as i said right the properties are defined in the curly braces at the key value pair so when it comes to the next slide right so the it's a cipher name in culture of the match and return query right so it's a basic uh, thing so whenever uh, so in the upcoming videos right we are going to see a practical session guys so uh, in the new 4j right so there's an uh, they have provided a movie uh, movie graph database in that you can see the person and the movies two nodes are there so how they are related okay here the person is related uh, to how it is related means the relation type is it is acted in the person acted in the movie the person directed in the movie as you can see right in this query so when you uh, write this right match uh, as i mentioned you right so the every node relation uh, denotes uh, written in this uh, parenthesis and we can specify the variable uh, as uh, means following up with the colon and the label name so what it returns is it returns all the nodes uh, which are uh, labeled as a person match n person return and i am returning this variable so whatever the data whatever the nodes which are associated which are under the person label right it returns all the data okay and uh, we can also specify the uh, we can also extend uh, this query by using the filter condition so in the query right so what i am i am doing is match n person i am i am filtering based on the properties of the uh, this person node in the person node you can see there are two properties one is name and the other one is born here so based on the born right i am filtering okay the person uh, the the nodes which are born under uh, which are born on the 1970 right i am retaining that uh, i am retaining that record only there's a filter by command okay so uh, so when it comes to the sql right the return is nothing but an select select uh, select it is an return is nothing but you can use in select and match is nothing but an from so as you can do right select star from uh, so select person uh, select person from this bond so where uh, so we can use that right in that fashion only match n uh, colon person we can use based on the filter uh, based on the property name we are filtering the person who are born on the 1970 we are returning only those records uh, so so this is all about uh, today's video guys so um, in the next upcoming videos right we are going to see the practical sessions also so where uh, so where i am going to open the new 4j and we'll see how to create the node how to return the node so uh, stay uh, tuned guys thank you thank you all